What's up, what's up world? It's your boy Dominic D. Hargrove here, Slight Edge Performance Program. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube page. I also have a Slight Edge Performance page on Facebook, Slight Edge Performance Program. You can Google it, you can find me. Got a lot of videos to just uh, knowledge that I've come into, observations that I've made just along my journey and adventure in life and uh, things that I like to pass along. And uh, this video was about three keys to seeking the kingdom. Three keys to seeking the kingdom. Okay, now I'm gonna use three Bible verses. So if you have a pen, a pad, because I'm a big uh, encourager of doing the research for yourself. Even though someone may know something, someone may sound knowledgeable about something, someone may be a great teacher. I'm a big advocate of you going back home, you going back to your place of study and research and doing your own study for yourself. So, see, Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Very key verse right there. One of my favorite verses that I've actually uh, stood on since I've been actually studying the Bible. Um, Self-study is key. But what are we talking about here in Matthew 6 verse 33? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. You know, when we go to work every day, you're going to work to make money. You're going to work to pay your bills. You're going to work to earn money. If you have a business, whatever you're doing in life is based off some sort of desire. Now, 3 John chapter 1 verse 3 says... Beloved brethren, I wish above all things, all things, that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. So we know that the Most High God wants us to prosper, be in health, even as our soul prospers. And that's key, your soul prospering. So many times in life I see people getting upset people uh, getting stressed out, people losing their minds over attaining things in this life, attaining uh, uh, riches, attaining uh, material possessions. Those things are good, don't get me wrong. But you shouldn't lose your peace of mind and peace of heart when it comes to obtaining these things. So, going back, three keys to seeking the kingdom. One, imagination. It's very important for you, us to learn how to develop our imagination. It's very important for us to learn how to focus in and develop our own God-given faculty of imagination. There's a book by Napoleon Hill called Think and Grow Rich. There's a chapter in there that talks about the faculty of your God-given imagination. Very important. Second key is faith. Is faith. The second key is faith. You know, uh, the action that you take because what you believe. The action that you take because what you feel is true. The action that you take based upon what the Word of God tells you. Going back to 3 John chapter 1, verse 3. I wish above all things that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. So we know God wants us to prosper, to be healthy, and our soul to be prospering. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you feel like that's happening in your life? The third key is patience. So we have the faculty of imagination, your faith, and patience. What, there's another scripture, third scripture. Whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe you already receive it and you should have it. Okay, so for an example, uh... Uh, I wanted some money. So what I did was began to say, I am rich. I am wealthy. Money comes to me easily. I easily attract money. Money magnetically attracts to me. I started feeling good. I started visualizing myself being wealthy. Visual, visualizing myself being rich. And I do this daily. And money comes to me. Good vibes come to me. So 
the power of your imagination, the power of your faith, and the power of patience. Three keys that will help you uh, have phenomenal results when it comes to seeking the kingdom. The kingdom is the system of manifesting reality that's within you. The God-given mechanism of how all things work that's within you. So, um, Dominique D. Hargrove, I hope this helps you. Rewind it, listen to it again. Um, and uh, I wish above all things that you prosper, that you be in health even as your soul prospers. Peace.